Hey everyone, it's Barbara here and I am very happy to be here to talk about my third mistake that it is so easy to make and I have made this mistake and I have stories for you today about my mistake. Um, third mistake that it's so easy to make when you're just starting out and how to avoid it. So, and I love saying this one, so I'm all excited. FOMO. This mistake comes from FOMO, which as you may or may not know, stands for fear of missing out. And so what are we worried about as massage therapists and other solo wellness um, business women? We are afraid of missing out on paying clients. That's the biggest fear when we are just starting out in my experience. And this fear of missing out on paying clients can lead to some, us making some choices that are counterintuitive. So we go against our intuition. And my hot tip right now is never go against your intuition. You know what you need, you know it, and it's in your soul. Sometimes, you know, it's maybe you're a little bit nervous and you're just trying to help yourself push forward. That's different than intuition. When you sense intuition, go with it. So back to the mistake, which is, so the mild form of the FOMO mistake for new therapists is in this fear of missing out, you start bending over backwards to make yourselves available for any client, any time, any day. And in my experience, what happens then is that you end up rearranging your entire life, this life that you had hoped being a home-based therapist, massage therapist, would give you plenty of time for your family and your friends and all your other joyful activities all of a sudden that time is completely sucked up because you are willing to cancel on friends, not go to fun stuff, not do things you love because you want to be flexible for that paying client. Okay, so that's one end of it. The more serious end um, that can compromise your safety is the fear of missing out and then not following your gut and accepting clients that compromise your safety. So I feel like I'm beating around the bush here a bit, so I'm actually going to tell you a little story and then the picture will become much more clear. Okay, so what I'm specifically talking about is the grayness in the massage industry on what kind of service you are offering. So if you are a massage therapist working from home that wants to have a therapeutic type practice, so that's the kind of therapist that I am. My practice is um, therapeutic and it's, you know, I do some postural assessment and people can claim on um, Medicare rebates, that kind of practice. So in this practice, um, I want it to be very therapeutic. Uh, in my area, there are a lot of practitioners that offer a sexual service as well as a massage service. And for me, that's not what the service is that I am offering, and I like that to be very clear. And usually when I follow my gut and stick to my boundaries and stick to my systems, no problem. So here's the fear is missing out story. Uh, so I've only had one, um, which is pretty good over 20 years, I must say, <laughs> one negative experience along these lines. And it happened when, and this is, I've seen this happen for many women, so I am not alone in this happening. Friday afternoon, I've had a few people cancel last minute. During the week, I'm feeling a bit like, ah, how am I going to pay the bills and watch out for that? And um, somebody rings, uh, a guy, a guy rings and says, can I book a massage now or later that night? And um, I've 
gone and not followed my usual protocol. So I have a usual protocol which keeps me very safe and you know steers out all these clients that are looking for a different kind of service but I didn't follow it. I just went yep okay and um, I'm a home-based massage therapist so I provided my address, client came around, seemed all right, seemed all right during intake. I was little bit hesitant but I didn't do anything so mm, the second you're hesitant you know what's going on you can get rid of them anyway it, it, it's the story is fine because um, about halfway through the massage the client requested a little extra <laughs> and I was a little bit dense on that frankly but I quickly realized what he was asking for which was a hand job and I was like, ah, and um, I had, uh, I just laughed. And it, this actually did not happen to me that many years ago. So I was already a very experienced therapist. So it can happen to anyone. Uh, anyway, I laughed and I just went, no. And that was the end of it. So this is a very happy ending story. I did not feel uh, at all unsafe and I didn't need to perform a service I had not intended to perform. Um, however, I was so uncomfortable and it was all because of FOMO, my fear of missing out and not following my gut. And now I, that does not happen to me anymore because I have a completely different mindset. I'm really good with my boundaries and, uh, this is the kind of thing that I just, I think it's really important for us as women who work in a home-based business to share with each other and to share, I mean, in my programs, I've got lots of strategies for making um, yourself feel very safe at in your practice and still be able to advertise wildly and attract the clients that are just right for you, the ones that make you just feel Yes, this is the business. I love being in this business. Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. It's a little longer than the other ones. <laughs> Hopefully you had a little bit of a laugh and a giggle um, at my expense and it's in the front of your mind. Fear of missing out. Follow your gut. Follow your gut. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video, number, ooh, let's count the fingers, number four, uh, which will be arriving soon. See you then.